I've only just figured out on here how to film with the widescreen camera and it's like a revelation. I'm going to be unboxing this, the Epo Maker. They are, excuse me a second. They are a manufacturer of um, keyboards. Yep, that's right, another keyboard. But this one I bought about eight months ago because it was an Indiegogo, which is like Kickstarter. And uh, if what they promised is true, then it's going to be really good. Uh, I've got to be honest, I was probably absolutely hammered when I did this because I don't remember it until I got an email about a month later going, here's an update about your uh, something you invested in. I was like, you what? <laughs> So, um, time to bring out the ASIP knife, as you can see, the pizza knife. Uh, I'm going to do it this way because I've got some, I don't want to dox myself, which I've already done enough anyway, I feel. People already know my address. Not since the gift wrap, man. There we go. Right. So, you know, thank you so much for your support and welcome you to join the family. The e -bomb. So, it's Bluetooth. Retro Shave Switch. I think I chose red. I'm very, very sure I chose red. I think it's RGB, but it was kind of confusing. So this one is product brand First Blood B21, 68 key, so it's a 60%. Spherical close key that one. Keyboard wire, there shouldn't be a wire. It should be Bluetooth. I'm hoping that's that one. It's not the same. But then again, you know, you do. But for luck, where do I put my beer? There. Shall we have a look? Shall we have a look? And you can hear my fucking neighbours again. It's not even the ones next door. They're fine. It's the family in the room. There's about 20 of them in there, I think. Ba -da -ba -ba. Boxing? Quite nice. Ooh. Ooh, okay. That's definitely not blues. Okay. Thank you for choosing blue. We don't think it has very, very cool functions and light effects. Nice. Uh, connection mode Bluetooth. Good, good. USB works. Is it USB C? Black wind dual system, that's good. Okay. So it is USB C. Oh, that's a nice USB C cable actually. I'm gonna have a charge this up. Let's pull this back in. If the neighbours are too loud, I'm sorry. meant to be aluminium. It feels like plastic. Mm, it's very cheap for me, to be honest. A oh, brown switch. 
Ooh, I'm gonna charge something. Put it away. So the knobs feel. <laughs> Ow, that was my shoulder. The knobs. Okay, he's got some shortcut buttons. I'm assuming that's for light. If you want it flat, you can't, but... It's got like, like it always, almost reminds me of, um... I wonder, can I change to... Yeah, there we go, that's better. It almost reminds me of, um, dice. So that's for the lighting. I believe that's for volume. This was 90 quid. It is quite cheap feeling, it's nice and heavy. comments if you want a video with me using this type in. I don't think I've used brown switches before. Um, it's definitely an interesting looking one. It's the most original people that I own. Apart from a custom one I need to put together, which I've spent a lot of money on. <laughs> so. Okay. Oh, okay. Can't see that very well. It's definitely not RGB, but it's backlit. It's a Mac window. And it's dead. I know it's not. So you can't really see that very well from this light. But um, yeah, it's backlit. Although the actual keys themselves aren't. So that's a shame. Some ASMR stuff, so 